Today we're talking about CoQ10, one of my favorite supplements and what it can do for your kidney health. Thanks for watching. This is Healthy Kidney Inc. Our channel on uh, YouTube. Our website's healthykidneyinc.com. Make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, definitely subscribe if you're new to a channel because we give so much good information out there to help yourself. CoQ10, what is it? Okay, CoQ10 is a vitamin-like substance. It's found in every cell in the body. If they would have discovered CoQ10 uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago, they definitely would have considered it a vitamin, but since we discovered it later, uh, they don't classify it as a vitamin. Okay, it's found in every cell in the body. It's used for just about every process, from making energy, to repair, to growth, for your cardiovascular system, your heart, okay, uh, all your vessels in your body. It's used for your brain, and especially the kidneys. The kidneys love CoQ10. Now, CoQ10 has so many benefits, especially for kidney health. Now, before I get into CoQ10 and the benefits, there's two types of CoQ10 on the market ubiquinol and ubiquinone. Now ubiquinone has been the one that's been most studied because it's been out the longest. Ubiquinol came out later. Uh, it is it is a higher absorption rate and it's shown to be better over ubiquinone. Uh, the problem is, is that it's way more money. It's a lot more expensive. And as I mentioned, almost majority of the studies are done in the uh, ubiquinone form, not, not the ubiquinol. So the problem with ubiquinol, even though it may be better, okay, it looks like it could be better, it's way more money and it might be, um, the doses to be therapeutic might not be in everyone's budget. However, don't worry about that because as I said, all the research was done in regular CoQ10, uh, ubiquinone, and I use ubiquinone. Sometimes I use ubiquinol, and this is the one that I use. This is my CoQ10 here, and I, I tend to rotate brands depending, you know, where I'm ordering from. And there's tons of research when it comes to CoQ10. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of research. Uh, Meta-analysis, current pharmaceutical design journal, 2018. The title is, The Effects of Coenzyme Q10 Supplementation on Metabolic Profiles of Patients with Chronic Kidney Disease, a Systemic Review and Meta-Analysis of Randomized Controlled Trials. So when they looked at this study, they uh, what they did here, this was a study where they took other studies. Okay, they got rid of the bad ones, they included the good studies, ones with good designs, and they uh, determined and came up with the results based on these other studies shown. And so, what can CoQ10 do for your kidneys? So many good things. Let's get into it. First of all, it can help your triglyceride levels, okay? It can help lower triglycerides. It can help your HDL levels to bad cholesterol. It can help fasting glucose, insulin, um, and one thing that it can do, it can help lower the creatinine and increase the GFR. Don't expect giant increases in creatinine and GFR, but we can look for some positive movement and good things. So when it comes to CoQ10, it's one of those supplements I feel it should be higher on your supplementation list when if you're taking things specifically for the kidneys, because it's just so good, it's so powerful. It does so many good things. It also helps the cardiovascular system, the brain. If you're taking statin medications, uh, those are like um, Lipitor, Simvastatin. These are all in the class of statin medications that lower cholesterol, which are very common, uh, that many people will use, and they're very common when people have kidney disease are prescribed. Now, statins uh, do deplete CoQ10. So they actually take CoQ10 out of your body, leaving the rest for your body to use. So it's often recommended if you're on statins, you should take some CoQ10 a low dose. Now, what's the dose? What's that magic number? You can go to the store and you can buy any CoQ10 and take it, it's probably not going to do anything for you unless it's dosed therapeutically. So it's got to be at that right number. So what I'm going to recommend is at least 200 milligrams of CoQ10 a day, upwards of 400 milligrams per day. Now the pill I take is 400 milligrams. I take a high dose because um, I don't ever want to go back to kidney failure or dialysis uh, again. I've been there. I know what that's like and I want to do everything to avoid it. So I take a really high dose. And it's just so good for you. It helps everything else in the system. It's, it's very safe with medications. Um, almost no interactions with meds that I know of. So feel free to try it, take it, CoQ10. One thing is you do want to get a quality brand because manufacturing does count. There's a lot of brands out there, a lot of good, good quality brands. Off the top of my head that I know have third-party verifications, um, they've been audited, uh, Doctors Best, Now Foods, Douglas Labs, uh, Pure Encapsulations. 
uh, Protocol for Life Balance. So, so many brands out there that are good quality. Uh, you can always call the companies and check on their certifications if you like, and if they're using FDA registered uh, manufacturing facilities. So, CoQ10, try it, let us know. Questions, let us know. And we'll get back to you shortly. Make sure to subscribe, take a look at all our other videos, and to your best kidney health.